Welcome! In the last tutorial I showed you how you can create a health bar and the way I showed you this was I just created one canvas per game object and put some images on it. This is fine so far, but if you're having issues with the performance then you need one canvas and this is the only canvas you should use in the complete scene and this is the fastest way to work with the canvas. Just use one canvas and draw every image on this canvas. But how you can do it? This I will show you right now. So uh, have a look at the description. You will find a link for this image we used the last time. I do the same thing again just to show you uh, how it worked. So I use sprite as a texture type for import. Uh, multiple sprite mode and just select some boxes here. Um, let's call this bar fill and we will do this again and this is bar empty. Make sure it has the same height, the same width. Apply this, you will see how this will be extracted. And then you go to scene and create a 3D object like a sphere. Set the position to 000, zero, zero and we see our sphere. The main camera should be at 0, 2 and minus 5 to have a good view on the sphere. The rotation uh, should be something like 18, zero, 0, And then we will see the sphere. So. Now we can create our canvas and this is the only canvas we use in the complete tutorial. If you create a game you should only use one canvas as long as it is possible. So um, I create this canvas, the event system is created automatically. Uh, we choose screen space overlay or screen space camera. Um, it depends on how many cameras you use. I use one camera, so I set it to overlay, that's okay. Um, set the scaler to scale with screen size. Just type in my reference resolution. I will use HD as a reference resolution. And the canvas is set up. Now we can uh, begin with these images. We will create a background image. IMG background and underneath it we create a new image called IMG fill and the background is the bar empty and the fill is the bar fill. The background should be something like uh, 200 width and 75 height or maybe 300 width. This is a good value I guess. Uh, we preserve the aspect. Now it should look a little bit nicer. Um, EMG fill we will do it a little bit simpler. We just um, hit shift alt and click this button to just fill out the background. We will also aspect preserve the aspect and set the image type to filled and a vertical fill method, no, oh, a horizontal fill method so that the bar can be filled from the left to the right. So that's it. Um, we will now create a prefab, just drag and drop this here. So in your asset folder you can delete it afterwards and here we have our prefab. Now we should create a new script on the sphere. I call it my script, create an add, and now we will edit the script. Go to edit script, yes, and we need a variable for a game object, which is a bar prefab. We go back to Unity, just wait for the compiler to um, pre-compile this. We will drag and drop the prefab into this field. So now we have the reference to this prefab and we can instantiate it. Let's instantiate the bar prefab. The parent should be the canvas. So we will only have 
one canvas in the complete scene. So it's totally fine to use find object of type canvas. There can be only one. So it will find the white right one and use a transform. Now we need the reference to the new created game object. We call it bar. Um, the image is not known right now. We have to use Unity Engine.ui. Uh, we can leave it protected so that we can't see it in the inspector. We need a different one called bar field to have a reference to the field. The bar is instantiated. Um, the instantiate method gives us a game object and we need the image. So we say get component image and to get the reference to get the reference of bar field we say bar field equals bar get components in children image so you might guess that this will only return one image because we are here and we trying to look at components in the children and there's only one child and this has one image component but no it also looks at itself and itself and sees this image here so um, we have to be aware of it so the get components and children will return an array we can use it to just instantiate a list and there we can use find and say okay the image we find um, we need to check that this image is not the bar. So now we have those two instances. And I think we can just run the scene. So now you see uh, there's the bar directly on top, of the, on top of the sphere. And we can move the sphere around. And as you can see, they're not connected. They're completely independent from each other because this parent of this image is a canvas and the sphere is the creator, but doesn't um, connect itself to the image. We have to do it via script. So what we will do is just use bar transform position equals um, camera our main camera because the main camera knows um, how the screen looks like and um, where the object is rendered on the actual um, screen scale uh, screen space canvas so we will use the method world to screen point and it expect a vector 3 position and we will use transform position for that and let's see what is happening. So it's in front of the sphere. So the next thing we uh, test is that this reference actually works. So bar filled, fill amount, we set it to 0 0.5. This is also working. And we will add a vector sphere to our uh, vector three to our position, um, just to just to position the um, bar on top of our sphere. So this looks good, and as soon as we move the sphere, the bar moves with the position. So what you should notice is if we go back or forth the bar will stay so the, the position will be adjusted but the size will keep the same. But the positive thing about this is we can have several spheres, spheres uh, position them on any random location on the screen.
and they all will have one image attached to them and we can all we can move all of them separately and we just use one canvas which is way better from a performance perspective than to use one canvas per game object so if you like this episode please subscribe and leave a like <laughs>